Hey YouTube, welcome to TCT and the Crazy True Nation of YouTube. Y'all know it's chapstick time, even though I already have some on, because my lips are just so freaking dry. I don't know why, because the weather's getting warmer. I'm going to jump in because this is going to be a long video. There will be timestamps down below. I'm going to do an entire full face. And then I'm going to do two looks with the Viseart Warm Mattes 10 palette. Yes, we're going to do two looks with this. And with those two looks, we're going to use every shade in this palette. And so I'm excited about that. So I'm going to jump in. I already have one of my skincare. I did go out earlier. But I'm going to apply extra moisturizer underneath my eyes. My allergies, y'all. My eyes are just so dry and irritated. I've been rubbing them so my bags are just like hey we're on full display even up here it's like really sensitive from being so dry so i'm using as always <laughs> the dr dennis gross ferolic and retinol eye cream and i do use this morning and night and i also use his eye serum in the morning and at night and then i put this on the fenty eyeshadow primer This is a Fenty foundation brush number 110. Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer 11.5 Butterscotch. I am putting on more concealer than usual because my under eye discoloration is a lot worse right now. I'm going to make my concoction of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stand Place Makeup. This is number four and two Spiced Sand. And we're going to top that off with two or three drops of the Boshia Sabaki Beauty Oil. We're going to set the under eye with the Lancome Long Time No Shine Translucent Setting Powder and then lightly dust that all over my face and then I'm going to go in with the Fenty, excuse me, setting powder in Honey all over my face, particularly the center of my face and Nutmeg on the perimeter of my face. I'm going to pause because I forgot to put on my blush. <laughs> We're going to use the e.l.f. Putty Blush in Maldives. This is a clean brush. This is a Sephora Flawless Airbrush number 56. We're going to go back with the brush we use for foundation, which is the Rare Beauty Foundation Brush. Now we're going to finish <laughs> setting our face with powder. We're going to take the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray. I feel myself starting to sweat already. Fenty Brow MVP in Soft Black. What a difference tails make. <laughs> Anti eyeshadow primer. This is a Sephora number fifty two Pro Stippling Concealer Brush. We're going to jump into these looks. I'm really excited. I have my brushes out already. I have brushes for each look out already. I am prepared. I am excited. This is what Warm Mats 10 Viseart Palette looks like. Yes. For I wanted to say, if you're darker than me, these shades here may, this one and these four here, 
well actually <laughs> these six may look a little ashy on you because on me they're almost like non colors or just a hint of color if you're lighter than me I don't think you'll have a problem with these but I do think you'll need to be careful with these colors here because they can go really dark on you quick for me this entire palette is extremely neutral cannot go wrong with it and I will show you what I mean so the first thing we're going to do I'm going to list below which numbers are where because this this palette does not have names so I'm just going to start from like one to four five to eight and then nine to twelve and I will try to remember to point at the color as I'm using it real techniques brush this one is <laughs> instapop crease brush and we're going to take number four this shade here and put this in our inner corner and we're going to do one look on each eye into the pop shade brush and we're going to take number six this brush and we're going to put this on the first third of the lid so overlapping with that first shade a little bit and taking it up into the crease as I do all of my lid colors and this is the Fenty number 230 blending brush number eight shade and we're going to put that on the center of the lid And we're overlapping with the previous shade. We're going to take shade number 12 with another one of the Real Techniques Insta Crease Brush. This shade here, and we're going to put that on the outer corner. We're going to take shade number one as a brow bone highlight. We're going to take shade number three with another Fenty 230 blending brush. And we're going to use this as our transition shade. This is like a non-color on me, which makes it great for blending. We're going to take the same brush, I wiped it off, and we're going to take shade number 9, this one here, and we're going to put that more so directly. Well, not more directly in the crease, but on top of the lid colors that I took into the crease just to further blend those this shade is almost a non shade on me as well so you see how that just softened up this entire area I wanted to point out I have a mold right here <laughs> and so that's why sometimes this area or usually it looks dark because I have like three moles like one here one here and one there and so for me I'm like why is my eyeshadow not blending properly and then I forget that I have moles there and I can see them peeking through <laughs> the eyeshadow. So this look is basically done. What we're going to do, which I should have did earlier, we're going to take this shade here and we're going to put that on this part of our lower lash line. And then we're going to take this shade here. That one was number six. This one is number eight. We're going to put that on our lower lash line as well in this area. We're going to take the brush we use for our transition color, no additional color, and we're just going to buff out that line. So this can be like your everyday, just neutral, subtle, sunrise or sunset type look. I'm going to take the Esom v29 brush which is huge because we're going to take shade number three all over the entire lid space up to the brow bone and we're going to wipe off the tip of that brush and go in with shade number one and use that as a brow bone highlight so i'm just going very lightly straight in we're going to take number nine as our transition shade this is the esom v34 We're going to take shade number 12 and we're going to put this all over the lid. We're going to take number 11, this shade here, the same brush we use for our transition, and we're going to deep, deep in the outer corner. And also on our lower lash line. 
And we're going to take shade number six on the inner portion of the lower lash line. We're going to go back with um, shade number three to blend this out right here. But the brush I used to, to lay that initial color down was way too big for this area and the color came down further than, than I wanted it to. And you see what I mean, how this is like a non-color and it's good for blending because it just erased <laughs> that dark patch that was right there. So that is basically it for both of these looks. So this is like for those who do daytime looks and those who do nighttime smoky looks. These can be two looks you can do <laughs> with these palettes. We're not done yet. I'm going to show you how to completely change these looks. So to deepen this look, we're going to take another blending brush and we're going to take shade number 10. This one right here. And this is the Isom V33. And we're going to put that in our transition as our transition shade. So this is how you can deepen up this look if you're going from like night to day. I'm sorry, from day to night. And also under your lower lash line. Add a little more definition under there. And to lighten up this look, <laughs> if you do this and decide, this doesn't go with my shirt. Or oh, I just want to do something a little lighter or just to be playing around with this palette. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to take number two, this shade here, and we're going to put this on the first half of our lid. And that's going to lighten up this look. So you see how that just changed the look? And we're going to take number seven, this shade here, and put that on the outer half of the lid. So you see how that just really just toned it down into a completely different look. Same color story, but not as bold as it was initially. And we're going to take number five, this shade here on our lower lash line. So even though I said I was doing two looks, one on each eye, we ended up doing four. We did one on each eye, and then we deepened this one, and then we lightened up this one. And doing all that that we just did we have used every shade in this palette. So you saw how you can do an everyday neutral, colorful look, a smoky look that you can lighten up if you don't want it as smoky and you can deepen up your daytime look by putting a deeper shade in the transition and also under your lower lash line. So we're gonna finish up as quickly as possible. We're going to use the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Eyeliner and black and i'm sorry i just got all up in your grill we're going to take lancome sills booster it's a mascara primer and maybelline sky high mascara <laughs> yes i do have to say that that way and when i don't i feel weird look at those bottom lashes Look at that. And the top one's two for that matter. Look at that. For lips, very simple. Fenty Gloss Balm and Hot Chocolate on top of the chapstick I already have on. Because for me, this goes with everything. Even though it's a, a sheer color, to me it's, it's a non-color. It enhances the color of my natural lip. This is the finished look. Let me know what you think. Did you like it the first time? Did you like it when we deepened it up? Did you like it the first time when it was smoky? Did you like it when we lightened it up? Four looks instead of two. All with the Viseart Warm Matte 10 palette. If you have this, let me know what you think of it. If you try these looks, let me know. And again, I will list all the shades and where I placed them down below. It's a long list. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. You will see me in the next video. And so just to make it a little easier, sorry for shaking. 
Okay, this is, I should have did this before I altered the look. But this was the smoky one that we toned down. This was the neutral, I guess, daytime look that we deepened up. So let me know what you think. You'll see me next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.